Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 11, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Special announcement. Check out the 12 days of Christmas sale. Get up to 40% discount on all CEP products starting today. Use the promo code FEEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off. Get your favorite denarian. The sense of security he or she deserves for Christmas, it is worth its weight in gold. Get your copy today, before it is too late. Muhammad has already told me the package price will go up to $140 after the RVRI occurs so don't wait, get your copy today, the link is in the description box below. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today, we are one day closer than yesterday. First article of interest. Pompeo announces new sanctions on Iran. The Iraqi people want their country as independent. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said on Wednesday that Washington will announce new sanctions against Iran while addressing Iraqi protests. In a statement to reporters at the State Department, Pompeo confirmed that the new sanctions are targeting Iranian weapons smuggling networks. We will punish companies that will cooperate with Iran, Pompeo added. He said that sanctions would be imposed on companies that help transport and smuggle Iranian weapons. Pompeo added that there are sanctions on the Iranian man flight for its role in weapons of mass destruction, stressing that Washington will continue to exert maximum pressure on Iran. The U.S. Secretary of State called on all countries to put pressure on Iran. We want to ensure that all countries put pressure on Iran, including China, he added. Pompeo touched on the protests in Iraq and said, the Iraqi people want an independent and sovereign country. Next article of interest. Territory. Implementation of Article 140 of our first discussions with the new government. Khalid Shawani, Minister of the Kurdistan Region, said, for dialogue with the federal government that the normalization of conditions in the disputed areas is one of the first priorities of our dialogues with the federal government. Shawani said during a press conference today that the Kurdistan regional government attaches great importance to the normalization of conditions in these areas and the implementation of Constitutional Article 140. He added, the Kurdistan regional government put forward its vision and project to implement Article 140 and normalize the conditions in those areas in front of the federal government, noting the formation of a joint committee between the Kurdistan region and the federal government to normalize the conditions in all these regions. He continued, when resuming dialogue with the federal government or with any new government, the implementation of Article 140 and the normalization of conditions in the areas disputed, will be among the priorities of our dialogue and our discussions. Next article of interest. Deputy. The resigned government will put the budget in the hands of its alternative in order to resolve it. The deputy of the Alliance of Maroon Madhar al-Azraja we confirmed on Wednesday that the resigned government will put the budget in the hands of the new government in order to put the finishing touches on it pointing out that the new year will start with a budget of 1/12 until the budget for 2020 is approved. In a statement to Alma Aluma, al we said, the resigned government wanted to have a vision for the new government regarding the budget, so it did not submit it to Parliament during the current days, as the budget will be presented to the new government. He added that, the new year will begin with a budget that adopts the system of 1/12 until the budget for 2020 is completed and the end of administrative procedures in this regard, as this system is in place in most of the past years. He explained that, it is expected that there will be a large consensus to approve the budget, as it will focus on matters that have a direct contact with the life of the citizen, and therefore Parliament will pass it quickly especially since there is communication between the government and parliament regarding the preparation of the budget. Next article of interest. Cabinet decisions for Tuesday's session. The Council of Ministers held its regular session today, Tuesday, headed by the outgoing Prime Minister, Adel Abdul Mahdi. Abdul Mahdi spoke at the beginning of the session, according to the statement of the Council of Ministers, 
which received Alfred News, a copy of it, at the beginning of the session on the commemoration of the Day of Victory over ISIS, describing it as the historic day in the lives of Iraqis and the world as well as what the threat of ISIS represents. He said that the most important factor of victory is the ability of the people and the armed forces of the army, the police, a popular crowd, the Peshmerga, the clans, and the formation of a single front against terrorism, and the well-known position of the religious authority, pointing to achieving the results of the will to victory in important results in the various provinces, and that the initiative is in the hands of the heroic Iraqi forces that thanks to its sacrifices and its accomplishment, the atmosphere of security, stability and economic activity was achieved as well as the positive mass movement and peaceful demonstration of the legitimate demands of our people. The cabinet discussed a number of issues and issued the following decisions. 1. The Minister of Justice is empowered to negotiate and sign a draft cooperation agreement between the Government of the Republic of Iraq and the Government of the Federal Republic of Germany in the field of transferring people convicted of penalties detrimental to freedom, according to the provisions of Article. 80-6, of the Constitution. 2. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs prepared the necessary authorization document in the name of the Republic of Iraq for the Minister of Justice in accordance with the approved context, and submitted it to the General Secretariat of the Council of Ministers in order to obtain the signature of the Prime Minister. And it was agreed to amend the Cabinet Resolution No. 429 for the year 2019 according to the following. Approval of giving the ministries and entities not affiliated with the ministry and the governorates the authority to continue contracting to implement its annual plan at the end of the date of 31st December 2019 instead of the date of 15th December 2019 as an exception from the implementation instructions federal budget for the fiscal year 2019. The Council voted to run out of the Memorandum of Understanding regarding mutual exemption from entry visas for holders of diplomatic, service, private and important passports between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the Republic of Iraq and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriates in the Syrian Arab Republic. Next Article of Interest Integrity reveals details of currency auction cases and indicates fines of nearly a quarter of a trillion dinars. The Integrity Commission revealed on Wednesday, the details of criminal and intelligence cases related to the file, currency auction, that it is investigating, indicating that it received, 4, intelligence, and opened, 8, criminal cases in it. The authority stated in a statement, which received slash information slash, a copy of it, that, 6, of these cases were referred to the trial court and other investigation courts in addition to a case previously decided, and another that is still under investigation, indicating that, among these cases are cases major corruption in the work of a private bank and indicators of cases of smuggling foreign currency outside Iraq through the bank's purchase of foreign currency for the benefit of companies claiming to import goods. The statement added that, upon investigation and scrutiny, it was found that these companies have not introduced goods to Iraq since 2004, Noting that, the issues included fraud and some governmental and private banks entering the auction of selling the currency in the names of companies and private account holders without their knowledge, and providing invoices and a counterfeit import counter and in addition to its violation of the central bank's instructions when entering the auction in accordance with the provisions of Article 3 of the Money Laundering Law No. 93 of 2004. He explained. The incoming intelligence is related to the issue of flying instruments and the collusion of some banks with people by depositing instruments with no possession of them in order to participate in the currency auction for the purpose of profit and benefit from the price difference between the central bank and the local market. In addition to the issuance in Treasury Department and the central bank purchased 10 machines for counting the currency called comprehensive machines with a total amount of $15 million, million, which were found to be of no benefit, as they destroy the banknotes, what causes a big loss in the money, confirming that, 3, of those intelligence is being monitored.
the commission had announced that it had completed several criminal cases that it had investigated, which resulted in fines amounting to more than $186,864,128 billion dinars on private banks, as a result of legal violations regarding permits for two years only, and in violation of foreign exchange auction instructions for the year 2012. Next article of interest. Tahrir Square protesters set seven conditions for accepting the new prime minister. A statement attributed to the sit-in protesters of Tahrir Square in the capital, Baghdad, announced the conditions of the demonstrators to choose the new prime minister as a successor to the resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi. As stated in the following statement from the Tahrir Square via loudspeakers, a revolutionary Iraqi people, as you know, we are continuing to restore the country and the land. Yes, we feel that our land is usurped, despite the fact that the one who governs us is Iraqi, which is witnessing a peaceful struggle to restore what the oppressors had taken away from us. After patience and determination, we managed to overthrow the government of killing with sniping. Now, we are at the threshold of a new phase that requires us to clarify. Therefore, after the consultation, we found it important to determine the characteristics of the Iraqi Prime Minister who will receive the helm of government in the next transitional stage leading to the early elections, given that the next stage is a sensitive stage and will determine the fate of a nation. Our basic conditions that the incoming Prime Minister should have are as follows. 1. That he is independent, not affiliated with any party or current, and who is not of dual nationality. 2. He was not a minister or the rank of minister, parliamentarian or governor. 3. He must be honest and brave and did not refer to any corruption case. 4. He must be young and not older than 55 years old. 5. To pledge not to run in the upcoming elections. 6. That he be obligated to implement the demands of the revolutionaries in the sit-in squares. 7. That his decision is Iraqi, independent pure, and not subject to pressure from political blocs or external interference. Next article of interest. Iran, officially, admits that it has been subjected to a widespread electronic attack. Iranian Minister of Communications and Information Technology, Mohammad Javad Dazari Jarami, acknowledged today, Wednesday, the occurrence of an electronic attack targeting the infrastructure of e-government in Iran. We have faced a large-scale and systematic foreign attack on the infrastructure of e-government, and it was confronted with the electronic security shield known as DJFA, Jarami told reporters after a meeting of the Iranian cabinet. More information. The American newspaper, New York Times, had confirmed yesterday, Tuesday, that Iranian banks were subjected to a severe electronic attack which led to the leaking of the accounts of millions of customers, adding that details of 15 million bank cards in Iran were published on social media in the wake of the protests that erupted in the middle of last November against the backdrop of higher gasoline prices. The newspaper added in a report that Iran was exposed to the most serious banking security breach, noting that the publication of details of millions of Iranian bank cards on the Internet after anti-government protests last month is suspected of a cyber-sponsored attack. Protesters in Iran set fire to hundreds of bank branches last month during anti-government protests. The American newspaper said, the number of accounts affected by the cyber attack represents nearly one-fifth of the country's population. Next article of interest. Deputy. Parliament will ask the federal court a question regarding the questioning of caretaker government ministers. The deputy of the Alliance of Raiders Rod al Maksousi affirmed on Wednesday that the parliament will ask the federal court about the constitutionality of conducting interrogations for ministers after the government turns to conduct daily business. Accepting. The resignation of the government of Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi means all ministers are resigned and their presence is for the conduct of business only, al Maksousi said in a statement to the information. He is entitled to be questioned or not. He added that the House of Representatives will ask the federal court to know the constitutionality of conducting interrogations for ministers in the caretaker government 
indicating that the answer of the federal court will be the final decision in conducting interrogations or not. And the Parliamentary Oil and Gas Committee confirmed, today, Wednesday, that the date of the interrogation of Oil Minister Thamer Algadbin, which was set by Parliament, is still valid and there is no change or delay in the date of the interrogation that will take place on tomorrow Thursday. Next article of interest. The Kurdistan Council of Ministers approves a project regarding salaries and retirement. The Kurdistan Regional Council of Ministers held today, Wednesday, its regular session headed by Prime Minister Masroor Barzani and in the presence of his deputy, Kubed Talabani. The meeting discussed the draft reform law on retirement, salaries, allowances, grants and benefits in the Kurdistan region, within the framework of the reform program for the ninth formation of the Kurdistan regional government. The Prime Minister affirmed that reform is a continuous and long-term process that includes all sectors. From the first day of the formation of the new government, we made a promise to the people to send this project to Parliament, he said. The Prime Minister indicated that all political parties and parties in the government participated in the project to achieve the public interest, establish justice and guarantee the rights of those who are entitled. After a thorough discussion of the project materials and paragraphs and making the necessary changes, the Cabinet decided to ratify the project, to be referred to the Kurdistan Regional Parliament. Next Article of Interest Saleh discusses with academics and popular destinations the nomination of a popular prime minister. Today, Wednesday, President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, met in separate meetings, at Salam Palace in Baghdad, a number of university presidents, academics, heads and representatives of professional unions and popular events. During the meetings, according to a statement, which received al News, a copy of it, the current situation in the country and the efforts and endeavors made to nominate a prime minister for an interim government within the constitutional timings and contexts are emphasized and the importance of involving different elites in resolving the national choice of the prime minister of the interim government whose primary duty is to meet the entitlement to reform and prepare for fair elections in accordance with a fair electoral law. The President of the Republic affirmed that the candidate for the position of Prime Minister will be accepted by the Iraqi people and will fulfill their aspirations and hopes for a free and dignified life and within the constitutional times and contexts. It was also stressed the need to maintain the peaceful demonstrations and confront the outlaws who target demonstrators and public security. Saleh listened to the views of the attendees at the meetings regarding the reformist movement and its legitimate demands, and how to work for peaceful demonstrations to be a platform for real and radical reform work for the political process and start the stage of rebuilding the country and protecting the rights of citizens. Next article of interest. Parliamentary demonstrators. Name the prime minister or else they will agree to a person with no honorable history. Member of the Iraqi Council of Representatives, Fake Sheikh Ali, urged the demonstrators on Wednesday to expedite the nomination of a prime minister instead of resigning Adel Abdul Mahdi, warning that the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, present a candidate with no honorable history. Sheikh Ali made an appeal to the protesters from social media platforms today, saying, Demonstrators, name the prime minister to cross you to the safety beach. He added, there are only six days left before the President of the Republic, and he will present to the House of Representatives a name without honorable history. They will agree to it, and they will blame you because you are more than two months late to agree on a candidate, Sheikh Ali added. It is noteworthy that the protests taking place in the capital Baghdad and the Shiite-dominated provinces since the beginning of last October and generated popular pressure that led to the resignation of the federal government headed by Abdul Mahdi and at the request of the Supreme Authority in Najaf represented by Ayatollah Ali Sistani. Next article of interest. Iraq protests close to achieving second demand after Govt. Resignation. Wednesday, 11th December. 2019-0845. Iraqi protesters are close to achieving their second demand since their movement erupted in October. The October Revolutionaries, as they have come to be known, 
succeeded in attaining their first demand of the resignation of the government and Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Based on stances by various political parties and blocs, the popular movement is about to achieve its second demand of dissolving parliament and holding early elections, the first of their kind since 2005. Until recently, most of the political forces have defended the idea of replacing Abdul Mahdi with an independent candidate. However, increased pressure from the protests, along with the violent security crackdown, forced them to reconsider their positions and accept early elections. Member of Parliament's Foreign Relations Committee, Da'a for Alani, pointed out that there is some sort of consensus between the political forces to dissolve Parliament and hold early polls. He admitted to Ashar al Assad that Kurdish forces have not declared a clear position so far, but they did not reject the proposal. President Baram Sali is expected to propose his candidate for prime minister by December 15 at the latest. Heads of political blocs will meet on Wednesday to discuss a new amended electoral law, which must conform to the demands of the protesters and the standards set by the United Nations. Sarun Alliance MP Amjad al Okabi affirmed that the majority of the political blocs are in agreement on dissolving the parliament and holding early elections. Earlier this week, 130 lawmakers signed a list with the criteria of the next prime minister. Among them is the demand that he be an independent figure who has never held office before. Like subscribe to be alerted as breaking news unfolds from Iraq. Make sure you take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale. Get up to 40% discount on all CEP products starting today. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off. They are practically giving the planner away. Get your copy today before it is too late and the price goes to $140. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now, the Denarian.